Welcome to another parent teacher video lesson from the earlygiftedmanual.com, a free website for homeschooled children three to seven years old and their parents that promotes and develops giftedness at an early age. I am Gary Blank, the creator of that site and your host and facilitator for this video and all of the videos in my educational program. As the video lessons are designed to work in conjunction with the program on my website, I ask you to, at some point, click on the URL link in the description box below, and this action will take you to the earlygiftedmanual.com. By doing that, you will be able to put this lesson and all of the video lessons here on my channel in the proper context of the total program that I am presenting to you and your child. And now I'd like to introduce you to the, the set deck and the set game. And uh, I have a deck of set cards out here and I have some spread out on the table so I can uh, show you exactly what is on the cards. And really, um, the best way to describe these would be attribute cards. And there are four attributes. Let me explain this to you. First of all, you see that there are symbols. Each card has either ovals, squiggles, or diamonds on it. Uh, colors, as you can see, um, the symbols can either be red, green, or purple. Uh, number, each, each card has one, two, or three symbols on it. And finally, there is a, a shading attribute, and the symbols are either what I call solid or filled in. Um, they could be, I call this uh, clear, or you could call it outlined. I like to call it just clear. Um, or we, we have uh, cards that are also have striped shading. So that's what you're looking for here on the uh, in the set deck, these attributes. And a great way to get started with the set deck for your very young child, let's say your three or four year old, I'm gonna pick these cards up here, um, is you could do a sorting exercise with them. And you can sort them by uh, the attributes we just mentioned, color, shape, number, and shading. And of course, shape by shape, I mean uh, the symbol uh, on the card. So um, this is actually uh, quite simple to do and of course uh, you know you want you can start out by showing your child how to do it. You could place the entire deck down here and um, and really the best the, the best way to start this is to start out by sorting by color because that'll be the easiest thing for your child to do. In fact it may be too easy for some kids but uh, have, have them do it anyway. Well, we'll start out with that. And uh, so there's a red. And of course, you're showing your child how to do this. And now look, there's a purple. You need a new pile for that. There's a green. There's another purple. Green. Green. Red. Red. Red, green, there's a purple. So you get the idea. We're sorting the entire set deck into uh, its three colors and we're putting them in piles here. And of course, at this point, you would want your child to take over and uh, some kids may work fast, some may work slow, uh, but it doesn't matter that much. What, of course, what you're looking for is, is accuracy that they can, uh, that your child can recognize these attributes. So we start with color. And as you can see, uh, I fast forwarded a bit here and let's say your child has uh, sorted all of these set cards, all 81 of them by color, red, purple, and green. Uh, the next step you can take in this sorting exercise is to uh, simply let's take this deck Put it off over here, we'll get to it later. Let's take this deck. We'll also 
put it off over here and get to it a little bit later. In fact, I'm going to take them off camera here. And uh, let's just work with the red deck here. So uh, we have one third of a deck. Of course, if you're good with fractions, you'll know that. And uh, now let's sort for another attribute. So we sorted for colors. Now let's sort for symbols or shapes, as I like to call them. Either, either one of those is good. So your child can, you might have to, to, to show him or her a little bit, but uh, um, let's say your child says, well, I think I can do that. So there's our pile for ovals, squiggles, diamonds, and hopefully I'll be accurate here because I, there aren't that many cards and I think I'm just going to uh, sort them right in front of you here. And of course, like I said, uh, you know, it may, your child may be a very slow, careful worker or a very quick worker, it doesn't matter, just as long as um, they get it right. And of course, you're always checking uh, for accuracy um, after he or she is completed. All right. Bear with me, as they say, <laughs> until I complete this here. And hopefully I, I've got it right because I was talking a little bit while I was doing this. All right, and once again, you can check uh, see how he or she did with that activity. So you sorted for symbols or the shape. So let's take this deck and we're finished with this one. So we'll put it off over here and let's bring on one of these other decks we've saved. And now we could sort for yet another attribute. Let's sort for number. So here we go. And of course, you can see that's rather obvious. One, two, or three. Here we go. Once again, bear with me here. I think it's better just it only doesn't take very long to do this. It's better than chopping up uh, the video. And in fact, I'm going to take them in my hands to make it even faster here. And your child might want to do that or just uh, work off the deck that's sitting on the table. And some of these cards are sticking on me a little bit. I have all kinds of set decks. This is a newer one. They, they like to stick together a little bit. All right, and as you can see now, we've sorted that deck by number, and by all means, go back and check your child's work. Make sure it was accurate. So we'll get this deck out of the way and finally bring on this last one we saved over here. And now we will sort for shading. So clear. Solid, that's what I like to call them, and striped. So here we go. And you know, sometimes your child, and even I do this sometimes, will forget what you're, they're sorting for and get a little mixed up. So you may have to hang around and keep them on track because it's easy enough to forget. All right. Right. Yes, almost got it here. <laughs> okay, so now uh, your child has uh, com completed, your very young child has completed a very, uh, um, a good exercise for someone who's just, you know, starting out with their, in their academic pursuits. They've done a nice sorting exercise and they've sorted by 
four different attributes. So that's a great way to get started with your, uh, your set deck and, uh, and with your very young child is to do this sorting exercise, sorting by color, shape, number, and shading. So let me show you how you and your child could play uh, the set game together. So now we're moving on to the actual game and uh, probably be a good idea the first few times you play for just the two of you to play, but there can be more than two players. There can be any reasonable amount that could uh, fit around the card, so to speak. So, uh, you know, as many players as you want, but I would say start out with just uh, you and your child. And um, we always start out a set game in a grid of 12 cards. That's why I have all of these uh, laid out here. And now I'm going to kind of tell you a little bit about the, the rules and uh, the set deck. And I apologize, I'm going to be reading this right off the, uh, the rule sheet in the game because I have to use very uh, uh, specific language and hopefully it'll be easier for you to understand. So I want to make sure that I get it right. So um, the object of the game is to identify a set of three cards from the 12 cards laid out on the table. And each card has four features. We talked about that when we were uh, sorting the deck in an earlier part of this lesson. And uh, let's go through them again. Um, they have symbols. Each card uh, could either have ovals, squiggles, or diamonds. Um, the colors, there are three different colors, red, green, purple. Uh, each card has one, two, or three symbols on it. There's one, two, three. And finally, the symbols are either um, filled in, what I call solid, or they're, they're clear. Uh, you could call them outlined if you want. I like to call them just clear or striped. So solid, clear, and striped. Okay, those are that's very important stuff to know to play this game. So a set consists of three cards in which each of the cards features, features looked at one by one are the same on each card or are different on each card. So as you can see, it's already the language is getting complicated. All of the features must separately satisfy this rule. In other words, shape must be either the same on the three cards or different on each of the three. Color must be either the same on the three cards or different on each of the three. And you can say the same thing about number and shading. So did that make any sense to you? Well, I remember when I first got the game and read that, I said, oh, what are you talking about? But fortunately, they have examples on the box and on the, the lessons that, uh, that come with the game that show you some sets. And that uh, really uh, sped things along uh, concerning my learning curve.